Evening Canada on our platform of Voice of Canada, your host Aspandiar Wadiwala, my charming co-host Patricia Pulak. We have a very talented, young, charming speaker, guest speaker, Martha Garai. Welcome wow. to our show. She's so much talented that during the interview, you'll know what all she does at this tender age. Thank you. So we are really proud of her. She's a Canadian Persian origin of an Aryan blood. And we are truly proud to have her in our show. Plus, let me announce that she's a black belt holder. So <laughs> nobody can dare to fool with her. She's a karate <laughs> champion and a black belt. So that is the biggest defense nowadays our young generation and our girls should know. They should all have be black belt. Yes. They are all safe and have the personal safety they can manage on their own. Yes, 100%. So, Garai, would you like to introduce yourself, just your name, uh, to uh, for our viewers of Voice of Canada? I would love to. So, hello, everyone. I just want to say hello, Mr. Asfandiar, and to the lovely Miss Polak. It's an honor being here today. My name is Mata Garai, and I am Beautiful. 19 years old. Thank you. I would love to. So, I began karate at the mere age of five. So I was a little girl with two wow, little braids. Wow. I was so small. And I've been doing karate for about 15 years now. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am currently a member of the junior and senior national team of Karate Canada. Wow, wow. And from Canada. Yes, Lovely. from Canada. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and um, I've been actually representing our great nation abroad since 2017. We are in the best country of the world. You should know that. We all came from, from different lands, different places, but we are really, really lucky to be Canadians. For sure. It's a cultural mosaic. And being an elite member of the team, I get to travel the world with my teammates, um, expand my knowledge and expand my worldview. And being able to represent Canada internationally is such an beautiful, honor. Beautiful. It's such an honor. I never I would say I would like to salute you. Thank you so much. Age. I appreciate uh, that. Mata, the teller of yours, were you born in Canada or you were born somewhere else? That's a very good question. I yeah. get a lot. Um, so I'm actually born and raised in Canada. Wow. But I'm ethnically Persian. Persian. So, yeah. So, so um, you're like me. Yeah. We're both Persian. It's, <laughs> but I'm not born in Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm actually a second generation Canadian. So... I'm truly grateful to be living in such a multicultural nation. And I honestly believe that our diversity is our greatest asset. It's our greatest asset. And that's yes. what we are proud of. We are extremely proud of this. It's Go exceptionally ahead. in the world. So, Mata, again, my question is about your experience and the benefits of mastering this art of karate. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take to get trained in karate? Please tell us about it. I would love to. So, first and foremost, karate begins and ends with respect. Wow. Yes, so sportsmanship and proper etiquette. But are have you key. broken any bones of anybody? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm lucky. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> no, but it, it happens a little too impact often. In the humor in the interview. Yeah, it actually happens so often. Like I got a little LCL injury uh, in my knee, but going past that, this is you know You're this a strong happens. Girl. Right? Thank you. I have to be because strong. You know, this is... You've got a strong heart and a strong girl playing karate is not a joke. That. It's not everybody's forte. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And the thing about karate is that proper etiquette and sportsmanship are the proper uh, key principles Definitely. of the sport, right? It's a way of life. Karate is a way of life. We have to follow the principles. Yes. And we Canadians follow the rules and the principles. For sure we do. And a cool thing about karate, well, I got to say... Karate really teaches us discipline, proficiency, and focus. And, and a full body exercise. It is. Like mentally, physically, emotionally, physically. everything. Exactly what beautiful, you said. Beautiful. And to relate to what you said, it really helps us coordinate our body and mind. And when we balance these two, we get to achieve inner peace. And Mata, tell our viewers yes. of Voice of Canada uh, that I read in, in your bio that you would like to be a lawyer. Yes. So what would be the specialization in lawyer? That's a very good question. So, um, like I said, my prospective career is to become a lawyer, but I still haven't chosen which aspect I want to focus on. Mm -hmm. But for now, I have my options open. So my I got my eyes set on a few disciplines. One is human rights and international law, corporate law, uh, immigration law, and international sports law. International politics. 
Yes, hopefully. Of course, I still need to educate myself on. But still, politics. you are young. You yes. make you make your mind and change your mind. Yes. With my experience, my daughter wanted to be a corporate lawyer. Wow. When That's we came to Canada, aspect. yes. When she was at York, she was all full for corporate lawyer. That's amazing. And we were looking the universities here and there, which one will be the most. But all of a sudden, one fine day, she just took a U turn. Really. And she joined the science. Section and wow. when the McGill admitted her, she says, "No, Dad, I'm going to do a a PhD in neuroscience." Neuroscience. Neuroscience. That's a, incredible. A, a student of commerce, rather. Right. Then the university had to ask her to do two extra subjects mm. to complete and to join in the science. She took the challenge because she was a bright girl with That's good amazing. and on merit. She she had got the admission at McGill. Otherwise, to get admission at McGill wow. is not a joke. It's one of the top universities. It's in like Canada. Harvard's. It's like a Harvard's of of um, Canada. Canada. I agree. I agree. It is. It is. It is. So, Amanda, from your bio, we read that you're a proud student of the University of Toronto, and that you enrolled in the Law Society faculty. How many years it, does it become? Does it take to become a full fledged lawyer? Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people wonder this. So. Um, I'm currently an undergrad student studying Law Society, and I'm a Dean Scholar Student Ambassador in my faculty. So Lovely. it takes around four years to earn your Bachelor of Honors degree. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, then you have to take the LSAT, which is a law school admission test. And it's a very difficult test that many people have to repeat. Definitely. But this is your necessary have required, Have you chosen right? the university? Which university you plan to go? I hope to go to Osgoode Law Osgoode. School. Law. I hope Lovely. so. Lovely. I mean, I got to put in that the work, right? Thank you fantastic. so much. Thank you. Thank you. And today our second guest this evening is a lawyer. Yes, I heard. Yes. Just remind me, I'll introduce you to her. That She's would be amazing. She's a very brilliant, outstanding lawyer of Toronto. That would be my honor. And she practiced family law. Family law is a very good discipline. So it's good to get to know somebody. Yes. Anytime if you want to refer any law questions, she's a very lovingly sweet lady. It's amazing to have such inspiring role models like around you to build the connections, to build the friendships. Definitely. And it's you have such to an build honor connections to meet such and people. connections. Yes. And in this modern world, you have to learn till the last day of your life. I agree. You know? I agree a hundred percent. And actually, um, adding on to what I said, um, in order for you to get your Juris Doctor degree, which is also the law degree, you must study at law school for three law years. Right? Feel, you won't believe okay, when my daughter was doing a PhD, mm -hmm. we thought okay, the day she completes the PhD and she will be picked up. No. It's difficult. It took six months for it's a, a journey. PhD for a PhD qualified girl with good uh, qualification and good merits. Oh, and sure. it took about six months to get a proper job of a choice. There are so many. This is Canada, you this know, is... very, very competitive. It's very competitive in any go field, ahead, for ahead. sure. So, Mara, you're a pretty young, active girl, and you're the co-president of the 360-degree Kids Youth Ambassador. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? For sure. So... For the viewers who don't know, 360 Kids is a nonprofit organization which surrounds vulnerable and homeless youth of York Region. And it serves around 2,500 youth each year in York Region mm -hmm. alone. This is a significant amount, unfortunately. York is a very vibrant region. Yes, it is. And it was actually named one of Canada's top charities by the McLean's Magazine Beautiful. in 2020. Beautiful. For sure. And it's a very known magazine. McQueen's it is, says. it is. And this organization really provides various social services and assistance to I've the youth. I've noticed that the York region is very active with the youth activities. The, it is, it is. And we're extremely lucky in this aspect. Um, unfortunately, there's so much youth homelessness in York region. So 3CC Kids really provides support such as uh, mental health counseling, educational support, food, clothing, shelter, and there's actually a, a HOPE program which assists the survivors of human trafficking. Lovely, lovely. It is really lovely, and I'm truly honored to be an ambassador for them. And as ambassadors, it's our duty to um, host uh, auction galas, food drives, clothing drives, online advocacies, fundraisers, and to Lovely. See, at this age, help them, right? your mind is so well aware of the facts of what you need to do. For sure. To for sure. your progress and prosperity. Exactly. I mean, when we have this position to help others in need, then we have to take that step forward. As you always say, we have to help those in need. I would need say you are an asset to Canada. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Ma really. Mata uh, informed us and our viewers that we also we were a bit surprised 
that being a karate girl, academically so involved with your studies, you even put your foot in the pageants. Yes. So tell us uh, from the first pageant you did, how you managed to do the pageant because pageant girls are very delicate. Yes. <laughs> so they, uh, the other girls were not afraid of you when they heard you are a black belt karate. <laughs> I kept that hidden until the end. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you fare in the pageants also you won? Yes. And you did international pageants and I, I was really it's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, that's a really good point you brought up because this is like a dual aspect of my life that many people are surprised. Multitasking, yeah. exactly. And discipline. So, and discipline, that's so true. Um, well, let's begin from the beginning. So I began my pageant journey in 2018. Um, after competing at the provincial round, I went on to the national finals and there I came first runner up, which is second place. I then later represented Canada internationally the year after and to compete. This in, was in 2022? Uh, 2019. 2019. Yes. That so was a good year success. prior to COVID. Oh, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it was prior to COVID. So I, will, um, I later represented Canada at the Miss Teen Globe International Pageant, wow. which was held in Paraguay that year. So it was a very, right. very yeah, beautiful well travel. Well traveled yeah. also. We travel. should ask you some questions about your traveling. Oh, for sure. I mean, actually, after I won the title Miss Teen Globe International and I competed, at, I mean, I went to Mexico that year. So I was going all over the world, really, essentially. So how many offers are currently in your basket? To do a pageant, <laughs> I've gotten quite a few, but my eyes are set on Miss competing in Miss World Canada next World year, Canada. which is one of the most prestigious national pageants in Canada, and it has been a lifelong dream of mine. So, I actually have to say this: um, you know, um, pageant contests in general are a competitive pursuit, but I try to live that life authentically and embody what it means and to be a queen. And plus, doing international ones are entirely different exactly. because you meet. So many ladies from around the world, oh, from yes. different culture, different things, different surroundings. And yes. that's a great educational. Yes. Plus, during those pageants, the activities are so hectic oh, that yes. you learn a lot. You learn a lot. Because yeah. I've been doing since 2009. Yes, yes. So I know how active it is. Hectic you have experience. It is. From, mo this. from morning till night, you are yeah. busy and busy, running and running. Very busy. I mean, I got, you know, from one end, I remember... Um, when I went to compete in Miss Teenage Canada, I had blisters, infected blisters on my feet from karate. Mm. And I had to walk in high heels for like hours and hours and rehearsals mm -hmm. a day. And a little um, note that I want to say is that I never feel entitled to a title because I know all girls work so hard to achieve it. So uh, being able to win any competition is a privilege in itself regardless. And I just try my best and let all the chips fall into place organically. Beautiful, and in the beautiful. process, I become the best version of you myself. You are a great person. Thank you so much. You know, you are a wonderful, that. wonderful girl. Thank you. And I'm really getting fond of you. Oh my God, that means a lot <laughs> to me coming from you guys. Thank so you. So Martha, the thing is, God willing, next year in 2024, we'll also offer you our offer too from our pageant, International, mm -hmm. and see if you can do it it will be a pleasure to take you as a pride from canada oh wow that means a lot <laughs> a lot of offers thank you <laughs> thank you okay so matt as you belong to a proud canadian persian young female here in our region of york what kind of community services do you undertake and inform us of the volunteering of these communities that you have undertaken thank you um certainly so since 2018 inspired by the united nations he for she movement mm -hmm. i've been advocating for woman empowerment and gender equality wow that's my major subject woman yes. empowerment it's a very important issue that needs to be addressed the gender inequality pay, gender pay gap inequality yeah. exactly exactly and I actually made a proposition to York Region District School Board to instill self-defense classes mm -hmm. within elementary school curriculum. Schools, yeah. Yes, and within York Region. And it is becoming must now. It is. It is. Nowadays, it's with an the essential current conditions skill we need. and all the things happening, you know. Exactly. Crimes are increasing. And exactly. I mean, I want the youth to learn, especially the most vulnerable and the females especially, how to defend themselves against potential predators. And by doing so, we are able to combat many situations of being... Uh, caught in toxic situation, uh, prevent violence and harassment, mm -hmm. and also build self-esteem. And it's life-changing. It's life-saving. Life-saving. In essence, right? But in my, in my opinion, now you are also not only ready for pageants, you can even judge a pageant. Oh. What I feel. <laughs> I need a lot time, more experience. No, no. Next <laughs> time when, when I'm going to judge a pageant, I'm going to recommend your name to be oh a co-judge. 
<laughs> that would be an give honor. You all the briefings, how to, because you have got all the talents in you. So I, you have to do everything, whatever oh, comes your way. That's so humbling. I mean, um, I still have a lot to learn from people like you who have so much experience. Um, it's good. It's God willing. We are connected steps, right? and we will be doing a lot of things oh, yes, for your 100%. betterment and for your progress. For sure. For huh? sure. With the blessings of your sister, Ava. Yes. My my older sister, she is like my second mother. I am so grateful and blessed to have a sister like her. It's That's why it's truly a blessing for very me. Very nice that you brought her. And I told you in the beginning, only bring Ava. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's so happy to be here and I'm so happy to have her. Because and... you are coming from far off place. Yes, yes. So I want your safety to reach here safely, you. back home safely. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And... I actually had another project that I wanted to talk about. So in 2021, I participated in a leadership-based mm -hmm. uh, uh, project. It was called the Game On Pilot Project, uh -huh. which was developed by Kennedy Women in Sports. And Beautiful. essentially, this project really teaches us young athletes who are involved in this project to advocate for women equity in sports. It promotes more girls to be involved in sports, fosters physical activity, and it also encourages girls to there's self-defense. I mean, I'm using the skill sets uh, that this has provided me. It has given me the necessary tools in my toolbox to be able to teach these youth See, Now you can teach with arts. your black belt, yeah. Oh, yes, for sure. I mean, I've actually been volunteering with my senseis and my karate dojo. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching karate classes to little kids. You're so beautiful. I've gotten experience from that. And I hope to use this experience. So are you a strict them. teacher or a... Easy going teacher. I gotta be honest with you, I'm pretty easy going. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm being I told feel you gotta be stricter. Of, you're a full of life and easy going, definitely. Thank you so much, thank you. You've got a wonderful nature. Oh, thank you. Okay, Mamata, inform us also while I was reading your bio, I was surprised to note that this young girl who is doing so many things in her life also put her foot into our Canadian politics mm. by doing a campaign for our proud Persian MPP and currently is a minister, yes. Michael Parsa. Oh my goodness. You know, Mr. I'm Parsa. also I'm a high admirer of Michael Parsa. I Me know him too. for over 14 years, wow. 12 to 14 years. Wow. And he was in our show too. Mm -hmm. And soon I'm planning to go to Queen's Park to meet him. Really? Very soon? Very soon. That's amazing. Where I, mean... I am trying to go before before this uh, winter break. Oh yes, before it Winter gets break very or maybe cold, right? if I can't make it, then we'll be going after when it opens mm -hmm. in January or but February. Anyhow, you're still going to meet each other. I mean, Minister Parsa, as you said, he's Beautiful. truly a community, a community leader. A he, very sober, a yes, very versed man. Well exactly. He embodies a true responsible politician. I mean, he has charisma. He has the knowledge, patience. And I'm truly inspired by him. I actually helped in his campaign by canvassing in his writing. Or, or and Richmond he comes Hill. here, let me tell you, even from Richmond Hill, for the events happening in Mississauga, right. he's there. He's, and I've I seen know. a minister he's always involved. serving. Oh, every Serving. time, every time. Because the, we had a barbecue for another minister, his colleague, right, Khalid right. Rashid, and and uh, Natalia Kusodova, the MPP. Mm, yes. So he was serving. Wow. Uncle was. He's Honestly. incredible. I have so much respect for him. He's such an amazing person. I have to we all admire him a lot. To. Yes. You know, too. though he's not my MPP, but still, <laughs> I'm proud that he's my Persian MPP. Yes, supporting our fellow compatriots. We'll be taking a short break and we'll be returning soon. Thank you. Mashuki Tazib ki khubsura dastan, marso se chali a rahi, rivayeton ka basban, khushbu aur zaike ka wohi kadadan. Karte hain har khane mein apne lazzat ka ehtimam. Har pakwan hai bemisal, har khushbu hai lajawab. कढ़ाई पॉइंट जायका ऐसा कि दिल जीत ले आज ही हमारे कढ़ाई पॉइंट तशरीफ लाएं और अपनी खुशियों को हमारे संग मनाएं कढ़ाई पॉइंट मेड विद क्वालिटी एंड फ्लेवर्ड विद पैशन पॉपाइज हैज ओपेंड अ ब्रांड न्यू लोकेशन इन डाउनटाउन वैंकूवर सेटिस्फाई योर क्रेविंग फॉर केजन एट दिस न्यू लोकेशन ऑफ वेस्ट जॉर्जिया एंड हैमिल्टन स्ट्रीट वेयर यू विल फाइंड ऑल योर फेवरेट लुइजियाना इंस्पायर्ड मेन्यू आइटम्स we sampled the unrivaled trio of sandwiches, the classic, the deluxe, and the black and deluxe chicken sandwich, and all were delicious. All of the signature fried chicken is marinated for 12 hours, then hand-battered and breaded, served with Cajun fries and mac and cheese on the side. 
Plus, for a limited time, you can try Popeye's Crispy Chicken Wrap, available now until September 3rd. Check out the new Popeye's location at 700 Hamilton Street today. Who are you bringing with you? Tag them in the comments. This is the latest opening in BC for Popeye's, with more openings coming soon in both Alberta and BC by PLK Group. Love that chicken from Popeye's! Q Wireless and Computer. Apne tamam devices, phones, iPads, tablets, MacBooks, or laptops ke repairs or maramat ke liye. Hum se aaj hi rabta kiji. Hum quality expertise ke saath saath aapko free of cost diagnosis bhi denge or data security ki guarantee bhi. Apne muft court ke liye hume aaj hi call kare 647-350-6606. अगर आपको दुबई या मिडल ईस्ट नुमा जेवरात की तलाश है तो आपको दूर जाने की बिल्कुल जरूरत नहीं आज ही हमारे मेसेसागर रिचवे के स्टोर तशरीफ लाइए अल करम ज्वेलर्स हमारे पास सोने के बेहतरीन कंगन कड़े झुमके हार और सोने के सेट्स भी दस्तियाब हैं। शादी हो या मेहंदी या कोई भी फंक्शन आपकी पसंद के तमाम जेवरात आपको हमारे स्टोर में मौजूद मिलेंगे आज ही हमारे स्टोर पर तशरीफ लाइए अल करम ज्वेलर्स थर्टी फोर सिक्सटी फाइव प्लेटनम ड्राइव यूनिट नाइनटी कॉल करें 905-828-0009 Al Karam Jewelers Farmai Shab Ki Guarantee Hamari मैं नासिर शाह आपका मोर्गे ब्रोकर अगर आपको मोर्गे चाहिए किसी तरह की होटल लेना है मोटर लेना है गैस स्टेशन लेना है या किसी प्लाजे में कोई यूनिट बाई करना है तो उसके लिए आप हमें कॉल करें हम दो चीजों की गारंटी करते हैं आपको बेस्ट हम्स एंड कंडीशन और बेस्ट रेट दिलाएंगे आप कॉल करें सिक्स फोर सेवन एच के मूवर्स होम ऑफिस अपार्टमेंट एंड डिलीवरी बिग और स्मॉल वी मूव इट ऑल एच के मूवर्स लोकल एंड लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस वी आल्सो शिप कार्ड केलर ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड मूविंग सर्विसेज फॉर सर्विस विद अ स्माइल गिव अस अ कॉल कॉल मिस्टर हरमिंदर फोर वन सिक्स फाइव टू फोर सिक्स सेवन जीरो फोर चार सौ सोलह पाँच सौ चौबीस सतासठ जीरो चार पे विजिट वन फोर्टी एडवांस बुलेवार्ड यूनिट नंबर टेन ब्रम्पटन लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस मूविंग स्पेशलिस्ट एच के मूवर्स एच के मूवर्स डिक्सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और अप्लायसेस पिछले 16 सालों से खरीदारों की खिदमत कर रहे हैं हम लगातार चार सालों से खरीदारों की पहली पसंद बने रहने का अवार्ड हासिल कर चुके हैं हम किचन बॉश वर्लपुर एल जी सैमसंग और जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक के ऑथोराइज डीलर हैं। फाइव स्टार खिदमत का लुत्फ ले हम आप सभी को सी डी सबसे ज्यादा रियायती दामों आरोप देने की गारंटी देते हैं www.dixieelectronics.ca हमारी वेबसाइट पर जाएं या अभी कॉल करें नाइन जीरो फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव फाइव नाइन डबल जीरो सभी बहुत ही मुनासिब कीमत पर दस्तियाब हैं जो आप बा आसानी से ले सकते हैं एट डिक्सी वी सेल क्वालिटी एंड डिलीवर कॉन्फिडेंस वेलकम बैक आफ्टर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक इन अवर शो वॉइस ऑफ कैनेडा वेरी वंडरफुल गेस्ट स्पीकर माथा गुराय your host aspandia rodiwala and co-host patricia pulak we welcome you back in our show for the, the remaining of our show Be- go ahead so matter we also found out that you are currently along with your sister who is your teammate in the house you both are uh, writing a book what kind of book are you write, authoring and give us a brief example when it will be completed and published of course i would love to so like you said my sister and i are in the process of writing a few novels one of them is an already finished illustration novel targeted mm-hmm. for the younger audience the other two are full length novels and they're not quite finished yet but my sister and i are generally you know we're generally more interested in writing fantasy very novels good, and we good. get ideas from different mythologies from all over the world all over the world yes. very good very inspiring yes yes i mean my sister she's She's like the polar opposite of me. She's me. very, very You're artistic. You're lucky to have so her. So having her as my teammate, it's I'm tr- it's truly a blessing. And this is a goal that we've been uh, working towards forever. And unfortunately, we haven't published them yet because yeah, we haven't had time. Yeah, but a full fledged experience manager. <laughs> <laughs> she I'm is joking. like a man. No, really, really, I'm truly blessed to have her. And is she strict yeah. with you? 
when sometimes, most of the time, when she needs to be, she's strict. She's strict. <laughs> but in a good sense. She doesn't allow sense. you to cross any boundaries. No, I mean, no. I'm so glad Very to good. have someone who Very is who a good role you, model, look after second you, mother. Guide exactly, you. exactly. Definitely. Someone to look up to. Very good. Very good. I'm, I'm sure. proud of both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Go ahead. So, as we all witness in the two long years of the COVID-19 from March 2020 to the end of 2022, how did you manage your time and did you do any volunteering during the during that time with your community, during the hardships with the worldwide pandemic? Give us a full account. Two years during the pandemic here in Canada. How did you all spend the time? What all you did for the communities? Yes, yes. And how did you pass your time during mm -hmm. COVID? That's a very good question. I mean, and then how did you protect yourself as that's well? That's a good question. And I, I, I honestly speak on behalf of where everyone when I say that this pandemic has had a huge toll on everyone that, mentally. It was all over the world. Everywhere, everywhere. It was, it was, like, it was unprecedented. And um, honestly, for me personally, all my trainings were moved online. And a huge bummer and a huge setback was that. And we came that, to know Zoom. Yes, COVID. <laughs> Zoom, school, everything, meetings. I did my trainings through Zoom, actually. Zoom. Yeah. Even I did pageant meetings on Zoom. <laughs> really? Everything was moved online on Zoom. And yeah, unfortunately, all my competitions and tournaments were canceled. And this had a really huge impact on me mentally. So what I did to um, persevere throughout this entire experience was having a goal-oriented mindset. And um, something that really... Um, that was really beneficial for me was that I kept at it with 360 Kids organization. I continued with advocacy, but everything since everything was moved online, I did online fundraisers, advocacy, and all the funds that we raised went towards um, supply, sanitary supplies, food, clothing, and everything that 360 Kids needs to thrive. So I'm very lucky in the aspect that I kept at it and I'm continuing to keep at it. And this entire experience has really taught me one thing, and it's that no matter what situation presents itself to you, you have to persevere throughout this entire experience. Definitely. No matter what. This was, exactly. This is unprecedented. So you just have to keep going through it, um, stay motivated, stay disciplined, and keep going at it. Keep right? going out. And you exactly. protected yourself also. You actually got it time. three times. I got COVID-19 three times. I contracted it three times. You got times. it, my yeah. God. You should I know. take care in this young age. It, yeah, See, that's so I was also moving. <laughs> I was also, those days also, I was shooting my right, show. Right, right. But we used to take great precautions. We took both all the vaccines. I've that's been good. vaccinated, one vaccine and five boosters. Yes, we also got vaccines. You know, no vaccine five boosters. boosters. Yes. So, but God willing, touch wood with my Persian genes, I'm a strong man. Stay strong. <laughs> I love to hear that. Stay strong. Uh, Mata, there's one very important question I would like to ask. Mm -hmm. Think nicely and, and then answer. Okay, where do you see yourself in next five years period? That's a very good question. Because that's a very, mm. very question I've asked uh, even on international platforms. Yes. Abroad. Yes, yes. Um, so my immediate goals, I'll start with that. My immediate goals are to qualify for the Junior Pan American Championships Championship. and Junior World Championships. And by that time, you'll be a full-fledged lawyer too? Oh, they'll be next year. So mm. it's actually pretty close. Uh, it's next year. So See, I'm, I'm giving you a that. span of five years, which yeah. is a long period. Yeah, that's the, my immediate goals. And I'm actually going to be competing in Miss World Canada next year. Beautiful, so beautiful. It's a prestigious national pageant. And like I mentioned Once earlier, you get a your lifelong dream. Admission into that, tell us we'll have a promotional program for oh, you. For sure. <laughs> Once you're inducted. I will for sure. I will for sure. And um, like I've mentioned, my prospective career is to become a successful lawyer. So I'll work hard at it. I hope to enter law school and to also um, remain successful in all my academic endeavors. And another thing I wanted to say is my sister and I, since we're currently in the process of writing novels, mm -hmm. our dream is to become published authors. We've lovely, been working lovely. so hard for this. We hope it will come to light very soon. Very soon, but keep your persistence. Persistence, Because in that yes. success, it takes a little longer. Yes. But you have to be totally persistent and strong. Oh, for sure. For sure. I agree. Tenacity, discipline, cool. everything. Okay, so Manus, can you inform us and our viewers of Voice of Canada about your other siblings? For sure. So I actually have one sibling, but if you want to know a bit about our history, 
So my parents actually studied and lived in Germany for 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, my dad was an engineer, urban planner, architect. My mom studied dentistry and my sister was actually born in Germany. She's she, 11 she's years German older born. than me. Okay, lovely. Yeah, she was born in Germany. Um, I got to say, my sister and I have a very interesting dynamic. I mean, not just because of the age gap, but we're like polar opposites. My sister, she's very artistic. She composes piano songs. Mm -hmm. She's um, oh, lovely. Yes, yeah, studies knew, biology. I would have called her last week. Oh, we had for a sure. Organ also, piano organ here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had a wonderful, two beautiful, uh, very talented singers from Filipino community. Wow, they were here with eight children. And all, I would have definitely invited her to also year one or two. Definitely, definitely. So I next time, I remember when I do the Chinese New Year show. Wow, that would be amazing. invite you. She'll be so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, continuing with what I was saying, um, she's more artistic, she studies biology, but for me, I'm more athletically inclined, you can say. Yeah, she's you're more a strong girl. Arts. Yeah. yeah, athlete. Thank you. Yeah, she's more into the arts, I'm more into martial arts. So... It's pretty interesting in that aspect. Very good. Okay, <laughs> now, Matha, uh, just tell us what are your future plans as far as your current situation is going on and what you finally want to do. You want to practice law mm -hmm. or you want to do professionally, you want to work as a karate champion and mm -hmm. a teacher and whatever you want to do. All of this combined, but I think... Plus an author, a writer. Yes, yes, exactly. I mean, and a lawyer. This. And a lawyer. So what you, what you are <laughs> going to do... And some private lessons for Patricia. Yes, I'll, <laughs> I'll connect with you. <laughs> um, but yeah, all of this combined, and actually, I've been meaning to host seminars. I mean, I'm planning, my project is to host seminars in elementary mm, schools mm. in York region. I want to teach the youth, to teach the students uh, the importance of fostering physical activity, uh, to uh, um, strive to excel in both academics and other academic mm -hmm. and endeavors such as sports, to maintain a healthy lifestyle, to stay goal-oriented, and to also learn self-defense. And this is an, a very important skill, like you were mentioning. It's very important for this generation to learn. And actually, um, I've mentioned that I've been involved with a pilot project, Game a project developed by Canadian Women in Sports. Mm -hmm. And this has equipped me with the necessary skill sets that I need to basically advocate for women empowerment and inspire more girls to remain in sports and teach them the importance of playing any sport and staying physically active. And I relate all of this to my ultimate goal of teaching and stressing the importance of learning self-defense. I've got two short questions re relating to your uh, karate. Yes, yes. Tell us at what age a child can start karate. Okay. And number two, my second question is, is karate included into our Olympic Games? Mm. That's a very good question. Well, the first one, there's no age restriction. No age. No mm. age. I mean, of course, it might be difficult for like a one-year-old or two-year-old one year, to learn. Maybe yeah. four or five years. Maybe. I believe, yeah. For me, I started when, when I was four or five years old. You can develop exactly. an aptitude. Exactly. I mean, I think I started when I was four or five years old. So I would recommend that age. But in regards to age restriction, there's no maximum. You can start if you're 20, 30, 50 even. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. this is the thing about karate. It's not just about kicking and punching. It's about... The qualities and, and the character it builds. The main thing exactly, is the self exactly. Self defense. And actually, if you didn't know, karate has two disciplines. Every karate club must know these two. One is kata, it's like an individual performance, and the other is kumite. This is essentially sparring. So you would have to know these two disciplines, but you know. Mashuki Tazib ki khubsurat astan. मर्सों से चली आ रही रिवायतों का पासबान खुशबू और जायके का वही कदरदान करते हैं हर खाने में अपने लज्जत का एहतमाम हर पकवान है बेमिसाल हर खुशबू है लाजवाब कढ़ाई पॉइंट जायका ऐसा कि दिल जीत ले आज ही हमारे कढ़ाई पॉइंट तशरीफ लाएं और अपनी खुशियों को हमारे संग मनाएं Krahi Point, made with quality and flavored with passion. Popeyes has opened a brand new location in downtown Vancouver. Satisfy your craving for Cajun at this new location off West Georgia and Hamilton Street, where you'll find all your favorite Louisiana-inspired menu items. We sampled the unrivaled trio of sandwiches, the classic, the deluxe, and the blackened deluxe chicken sandwich, and all were delicious. 
All of the signature fried chicken is marinated for 12 hours, then hand battered and breaded served with Cajun fries and mac and cheese on the side. Plus, for a limited time, you can try Popeye's Crispy Chicken Wrap, available now until September 3rd. Check out the new Popeye's location at 700 Hamilton Street today. Who are you bringing with you? Tag them in the comments. This is the latest opening in BC for Popeye's, with more openings coming soon in both Alberta and BC by PLK Group. Love that chicken from Popeye's! मैं नासिर शाह आपका मोर्गे ब्रोकर अगर आपको मोर्गे चाहिए किसी तरह की होटल लेना है मोटर लेना है गैस स्टेशन लेना है या किसी प्लाजे में कोई यूनिट बाई करना है तो उसके लिए आप हमें कॉल करें हम दो चीजों की गारंटी करते हैं आपको बेस्ट टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन और बेस्ट रेट दिलाएंगे आप कॉल करें सिक्स फोर सेवन सेवन डिक्सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और अप्लायसेस पिछले सोलह सालों से खरीदारों की खिदमत कर रहे हैं हम लगातार चार सालों से खरीदारों की पहली पसंद बने रहने का अवार्ड हासिल कर चुके हैं हम किचन बॉश वर्लपुल एल जी सैमसंग और जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक के ऑथोराइज डीलर हैं। फाइव स्टार खिदमत का लुत्फ लें। हम आप सभी को टीवी सबसे ज्यादा रियायती दामों पर देने की गारंटी देते हैं डब्ल्यू हमारी वेबसाइट आरोप जाए या अभी कॉल करें नाइन जीरो फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव फाइव नाइन डबल जीरो सभी बहुत ही मुनासिब कीमत पर दस्तियाब हैं जो आप बा आसानी से ले सकते हैं एट डिक्सी वी सेल क्वालिटी एंड डिलीवर कॉन्फिडेंस नाउ इट्स फुली रेनोवेटेड लाइफ केटरिंग बारबेक्यू तंदूर जलेबियाँ फ्रेश नान तकरीब आपके घर में हो या घर से बाहर जॉक इज प्रोवाइडिंग फुल सर्विस नाउ Zock has opened a new banquet hall, garden even center. आपका Zock देखकर लोग कहेंगे क्या Zock है आपका? Call right now nine zero five six two five seven seven eight six. Zock, Zock वालों के लिए. And uh, my last question to you is because it is so interesting. How long it takes to achieve black belt? That's a very good question. Um, so I gotta say, um, for those of you who don't know, karate has a dad system. It's essentially a grading system where you upgrade your belt to a new color and rank. So this actually takes years. I mean, I have my first degree black belt. It's called mm -hmm. Shodan, and like I said, you must know kata and kumite. And wow, it's very difficult to earn your black belt. For me, it took years and years of tournaments, trainings, competitions. It's not easy to get. But and your determination, hard. determination, your yes. character, right? Character. Like I said, your sportsmanship, your etiquette, your character. This all comes into play in determining whether or not you get your next belt. Yeah. So it's very interesting. Attitude is critical, right? Pardon? Attitude is critical. Attitude. That's a very yeah, good point. You know, Attitude. Can take you anywhere in the world. Exactly. That's a very good yeah. point. Yeah, okay, yeah. so Mada, what is your intake on the current problems and issues undergoing post-pandemic period, like massive inflation? So many problems are going oh on. God, Just yeah. briefly describe few of them. I for sure. I'm actually glad you asked this. So I gotta say that first and foremost, Canada is suffering, and we need to find a solution. I mean, in the past from 40 years alone, Canada is now experiencing the highest food prices, and I have to say gas that prices, gas food prices, bank everything, rates, everything, everything, and um, the welfare facing Canadians should be a nonpartisan matter, and it should be a top priority. And actually, um, I was I was saying uh, the grocery prices has increased eight to ten percent. And again, by the last another six percent next year is expected. Another six percent. I it was yeah. in the news today. Yeah, I heard that too. It's it's insane, and actually, um, this is leading to more and more Canadians going to food banks of like unprecedented and do, numbers. And as you mentioned about the food banks, let me give you a indicated uh, results mm -hmm. because I am attached to one of our one food banks in Mississauga. Yes, yes. They said that the demand has increased by fifty eight percent after the pandemic. Can That's you insane. believe? They even said. That we cannot meet the demands because fifty-eight percent to meet the demand is not a joke. Keep from third week onwards, 
families, middle class families, they start coming to the food bank. Okay, give us some food, give us some assistance, give us some relief. Otherwise, we won't be able to feed our children. I know. And I'm working two jobs. A person has got a capacity beyond two jobs. You can't I work. I know, I know. There's a limit to everything. And There's a limit. It Exactly. And as you're saying, for instance, I also heard that in March 2023, there was a 78% increase compared with March 2019 mm -hmm. and a 32% increase by the by last year alone. And I think one of the reasons may be because of the carbon tax hike. I mean, Carbon tax is a major issue. Is. Now, let's see uh, the new government taking over. They have promised us that they will they are going to remove the carbon tax. Yeah. Yeah. We you hope know? so. And too. I've supported that party from my uh, inception. Yes, yes. I'm a I'm, founder member of that federal party. Wow, that's amazing. And I agree with you. I mean, like you said, it should be So removed, hope some relief abolished. should be given by only giving relief to Alberta for furnace oil. Oh, for sure. doesn't solve the carbon it tax doesn't, problem. It doesn't solve for it. For every liter, we are paying 63 cents as carbon tax, which is a criminal waste. It's a so burden much. on the pockets of the consumers. And nowadays, to use gas is not a luxury. It's necessity. We use for our work. We use for our transportation. Yeah, so I want to point out that everyone should be, every citizen should be uh, cautious of politics, regardless of their opinions. And it is our civ citizenry duty to vote. So being able to, like I was, we were talking about the carbon tax, mm -hmm. I correct? Well, it's very important for everyone to be aware of environmental issues. However, I don't think that this carbon tax is a proper solution to this in the short term. And burdening the people is not a solution. Not there all. are many venues from where they can get the funds for yeah. the carbon tax and for the climate conditions, yes, you yes. know, because there is there are not many countries in the world who ch charges the people yes. to pay from I, their pocket. I agree. That's so because true. Because we are a highly taxed country, mm. very heavily taxed. Mm. So uh, putting a carbon tax on it and other taxes it's are going to the kill. people even more. Yeah, they are going to kill the people. They, they don't want the Canadians to be to come above the level of upper middle class. It's just too much. I agree. It's too much. I agree. You know? <sighs> so anyhow. We hope everything will be good. So, uh, Martha, would you be giving some very strong comments before we ask you to read your poem? For sure. For our inspirational poem, what you have brought and you're going to say. And I was really am proud that you're going to say something. For sure. Uh, so, would you first like to give a, your comment remarks? Mm-hmm. Message to, to the people. I would love to. From so, the platform of Voice of Canada. Yes. To all the amazing viewers, I just want to say that I hope that our words really mean a lot to you. And I want to inspire you to A, have a healthy lifestyle. B, stay goal-oriented and stay disciplined. Be tenacious. And three, never let the naysayers define who you are. We're now living in a, an era of social media where we're Definitely. always comparing ourselves. We're always being pressured by the social media. Very norms. competitive. Very com Exactly. And this is having a detrimental impact on the youth, especially on the confidence levels, mental health, on physical health even. So having this, um, having this confidence in yourself, having this courage, and just um, appreciating who you are and understanding your value, that in itself will able to help you achieve your dream. And you should never compare yourself to others because Definitely. unfortunately in this Whatever era, we're you all are, doing prove it. yourself your worth. You are unique, you are special, you are loved, and you are capable. Just believe in yourself, your beauty, and your um, your your future as well. So with that note, we'll request Martha to read out or say her talent round poem. I would love to. So this is a poem that really has a place in my heart and it was actually ingrained at the entrance of the United Nations building in New York. This was told by renowned Persian poet named Sadi at thir in 13th century AD. Human beings are members of a whole and creation of one essence and soul. If one member is afflicted with pain, other members shall easily remain. Lovely. If you have no sympathy for human pain, then the name of human shall not attain. And that was a lovely poem that I hope would touch heart with definitely, everyone definitely. listening. And you are a yes. teacher also, along oh. with so many things you can teach also very well. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I really appreciate that. I'm working on it. I really hope so. I really hope so. So with that note, we will be uh, signing off with Martha Garayal. 
our this evening interview we have we have uh, requested her again that in during 2024 first quarter we'll call her again with a new with to. new achievements and whatever she plans to do and what her planning is for the whole year of 24 and 25 she will be giving us so with that note soon we'll be signing off your host Aswandia Wadiwala my co-host Patricia Polak, who is the author of a book, Manifest the Life You Want, The Donald Trump Way. She's the author, so if you, anybody wants, they can read this book, ask us, and we can definitely supply or sell the, the, those books to you. So by, with that note, we say good night, goodbye, God bless, and adios.